Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for April 28th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. We started out at the North Lookout where it was a nice calm morning with light and variable winds and a mostly sunny sky. Just a really pleasant day to be out to do some songbirding. Here's a nice photo of a tree. Actually, if we look closely, we see that here in the middle, there's a brown creeper climbing up the tree. Here's a yellow bird with a black bib and a long pointed bill and short tail. This is an eastern meadowlark. Blue jay numbers continue to increase. We counted around 650 from the North Lookout this morning. Here we have a small raptor with a long tail and rounded wingtips. This is a small hawk. It's an excipiter. This is a sharp-shinned hawk in the juvenile plumage. From the North Lookout, we had 50 species. As the hawks were starting to get up for the day, the wind had shifted to a light northerly lake breeze, and we could tell that the flight line was shifting inland. So around 9.45 a.m., we made the switch down to the South Lookout, where it became mostly sunny and pretty much clear by the end of the day with those moderate northerly winds that weakened at the end of the day. And it became a nice warm afternoon. It was a pleasant day to be out. Initially at the South Lookout, we were getting some really nice looks at hawks, but as the day went on, the flight line shifted further inland. Here we have a Budio, and we see relatively pointed wingtips on this bird, and we can see that it's overall plain, some brown streaking to the breast, no dark trailing edge to the wings. This is a broad-winged hawk in the juvenile plumage. Compare that to this hawk, which is the same shape. We see those pointed wingtips, but on this one, we see brown barring underneath a dark trailing edge to the wings and a dark tail with a white band. This is an adult broad-winged hawk. And we had a really big broad-winged hawk flight today with over 2,800. But again, only the ones early on gave us decent looks. Most of the rest were pretty far inland. Here we have a medium to large raptor with pointed wingtips, so a large falcon. And we see that distinctive facial pattern of the peregrine falcon. Here we have a Budio. We see a very dark belly band and dark patagial bars. We see a dark trailing edge to the wings and a red tail because this is an adult red-tailed hawk. And this bird's very heavily marked, including a dark throat. So this is from the northern or Abieticola subspecies. We had a really good day for ospreys with 32 of them counted as migrants and also the couple locals on the cell phone tower. Here we have a black and white Budio with a relatively long tail, kind of droopy wings that are somewhat long and pointed. We see a very dark belly to this bird and dark squares at the carpal areas. This is a light morph rough-legged hawk. Here we have a black bird with some yellow to the back of the head. This is the first bobolink of the season. Former Derby Hill counter Anna Stunkel was visiting today, and after she left the South Lookout, she went up to the North Lookout and had this rose-breasted grosbeak. So I haven't seen one yet, but I bet there will be some around tomorrow. From the South Lookout, we had 50 species. There were three new species for the season today, which were green heron, white-crowned sparrow, and bobolink for a total of 151 species for the season. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 780 turkey vultures, 32 ospreys, 41 bald eagles, 27 northern harriers. We had 62 sharp-shinned hawks and three cooper's hawks. For budios, we had two red-shouldered hawks, 2,844 broad-winged hawks, 50 red-tailed hawks, and two rough-legged hawks. We had three golden eagles that came through in a short period in the morning. We had, for falcons, 16 American kestrels, two merlins, and one peregrine for a total of 3,865 migrating raptors. That brings the April total to 57,146 and the season total to 75,449. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for partial cloudiness early with scattered showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon with the possibility of some storms being severe, a high around 77, so the warmest day so far, which is always a good sign. Winds south-southeast shifting southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, so we have great winds and it looks like overall great conditions. The only question mark is what will be the timing of those thunderstorms. If they're too extensive, that could shut things down, or we might have some that come through and shut things down, and then it will pick up again. So a little bit hard to tell until we get into the day, but overall it's looking like it should be a really good day. Migration for non-raptors should be really strong overnight, so there should be a good morning songbird flight. There should be new species around in the morning, and we have good winds all day. And as long as that rain isn't too extensive, we could get a really good raptor flight. Obviously, we did really well today on a day of off winds with that lake breeze. So nearly 4,000 birds today. 
had a lot of birds at the end of the day. So I think there's a lot in position ready to move. So cross your fingers and get out here tomorrow for hopefully a good raptor flight. For Wednesday, it'll be partly cloudy with a high only around 45. Winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so we'll be down at the south lookout. Would expect light, maybe moderate migration. And for Thursday, it'll be cloudy with a high in the mid-60s. Winds southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so great winds again. Thursday should be another good day. All right, another great day of hawk watching. We had a group of visitors from Boston who have been around for a few days and haven't really got to see much of a hawk flight. So they got to see a bit of a hawk flight from the South Lookout this morning before they had to leave and head home. So they got a taste of what Derby Hill can be. And then just a really fun day out at the Lookout where we had two former Derby Hill counters in addition to myself. And just a really pleasant day to be out and a surprisingly good flight. And it looks like we'll have some more good days coming up. So hope to see you soon out at Derby Hill. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.